Hi friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. This is Bharat. We are in continuation in ratios and proportions. This is class 3. This is a question. Today a man has 25 pies and 50 pies coins in his bag. He has a total of 120 coins. So there is 25 pies coins and 50 pies coins in his bag. He has a total of 120 coins amounting to rupees 50. What is the respective number of 25 pies and 50 pies coins in his bag? 25 pies and 50 pies. We think like we have x number of 25 pies coins and y number of 50 pies coins and this sum is equals to 120 which is given in this question and the value of these coins is equals to 50 rupees you should be clear friends this x is the number of coins of 25 pies this y is number of coins of 50 pies and this 120 is total number of coins so these 25 pies can also be written as 1 by 4 quarter rupee and this 50 pies can also be written as half rupee okay friends if there are x number of coins of 25 pies it is of value x by 4 rupees and if there is y number of 50 pies coins and its value becomes y by 2 and these are the two equations which you are going to solve to get the x and y values that is number of coins of 25 pies and 50 pies respectively if you solve this you will get I am multiplying this equation by 4 x plus 2y is equals to 200 by solving this equation and this equation we will get x is equals to y is equals to so by subtracting second equation from first equation we get y is equals to 200 minus 20 that is 80 and if this is 80 then x becomes 40 you can also follow substitution method from the options if you substitute directly 25 pies of 40 coins becomes 10 rupees and 50 pies of 80 coins becomes 40 rupees 10 rupees plus 40 rupees you are going to get the 50 rupees so there are two methods friends if these values are not available then you can go for this method if the options are available then I recommend you to go for substitution method which you can get the answer within half a minute let us see in another problem two numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3 if 2 is subtracted from the first number and 2 is added to the second number then the ratio becomes 1 is to 2 find the sum of the numbers initially see there are two numbers number 1 and number 2 they are initially in the ratio 2 is to 3. If 2 is subtracted from the first number and 2 is added to the second number, then the ratio becomes 1 is to 2. By cross multiplying, we are going to write the duplicate format 2 into 2, 4, 3 into 1, 3. 2 into minus 2 minus 4 1 into 2 2 and if we see the difference here there is one part difference between 4 and 3 and here the difference is 6 from 2 to 
minus 4. Here we can conclude that one part is equals to 6 units. If you if we want to find the sum of the numbers initially that is 2 parts plus 3 parts that is 5 parts and one part is equals to 6 then we have 5 into 6 that is 30 is the sum of the numbers. Two numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3. If 2 is subtracted from the first number and 2 is added to the second number, then the ratio becomes 1 is to 2. Find the sum of the numbers initially. See friends how quick we are going to solve this. There is number 1 and number 2 are in the ratio 2 is to 3. If 2 is subtracted from the first number and 2 is added to the second number, then we are going to get the ratio as 1 is to 2. The usual, we will follow the usual format here by cross multiplying. We are going to develop the duplicate format 2 into 2, 4, 3 into 1, 3, 2 into minus 2, minus 4, 2, in, 2 into 1, 2. So we are going to find the difference upper we get the parts that is one part and difference of the below numbers is from 2 to minus 4 that is of 6. From this we can conclude that one part is equals to of value 6. Here we are going to find what we have to find find the sum of the numbers initially. If we take here we have two parts of first number and three parts of second number that is 2 plus 3 5 parts and each part of value 6 so we are going to get 5 to 6 that is 30 that is the sum of the numbers initially if you are new to this a type of problem i have explained a number of problems about five to six problems in the previous video you can go through the link which is given in the description box. Shall we see next question? A bag contains rupees 90 in coins of denominations of 50 pies, 25 pies and 10 pies. If coins are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5, then the number of 25, 25 pies coins in the bag is. See here, there are 50 pies coins. 25 pies coins and 10 pies coins in a bag and these coins are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5 respectively 5 respectively so we can write it as 2x, 3x and 5x coins are there in the back. What is the value ratio? If we multiply this number of coins with the value, we will get the values ratio. Here 2 into 50, 100 pies of x coins and 75 pies of x coins and 50 pies of x coins this value if you add this is given by rupees 90 90 are you are you clear friends if you multiply the number of coins with the value of the coin obviously you are going to get the value of that number of coins here the in the question it is given like bag contains 90 rupees so here this is in pies left hand side is in pies and right hand side is in rupees the units should be same on the both sides so 100 pies plus 75 pies so 
So, 100 pies of x coins plus 75 pies of x coins plus 50 pies of x coins should be equal to 90 rupees convert it into pies. 90 into 100 that is 9000 pies. So, total 225 pies of x is equals to 9000. What is then x is equals to how much friends? 40. X is equals to 40. So, if you substitute this 40 here in 75 pies, we are going to get the value. If you substitute this x is equals to 40 in 3x, we are going to get the number of coins of 25 pies that is 3 into 40 that is 120 coins of 25 pies. If you substitute this x is equals to 40 in the coins ratio, we are going to get the number of 25 pies coins that is 3 into 40 that is equals to 120 coins that is the answer hi friends we will see one more question here in this question the number of coins is given and the values ratio is also given we are asked to find the number of coins so the question goes like this a box has 210 coins of denomination 1 rupee and 50 pies only the ratio of their respective value is 13 is to 11 the number of rupee coins the number of 1 rupee coins we are given with 1 rupee denominations and 50 pies denominations and the ratios of their respective values value ratio is 13 is to 11 the values ratio is 13 is to 11 from this we are going to get the number of coins see friends for every 13 rupees of 1 rupee coins we have 11 rupees of 50 pies coins but we don't know the exact number so we are going to multiply by x and we are going to add the 50 pies coins number of 50 pies coins for you just tell me for 1 rupee how many 50 pies coins will be there Two 50 pies coins will be there so for 11 rupees there should be 22 50 pies coins which should be there or 2 into 11 x this number of coins is equals to 210 this number of coins is equals to 210. So, by solving this 22 plus 13, 35x is equals to 210. x is equals to 6. From this, by substituting x equal to 6, here we are going to get the number of 1 rupee coins. 78 coins will be there. 13 into 6. Okay, friends, we will see one more problem in the same model. If 378 coins consists of rupees of 1 rupee, 50 pies, and 25, co 25 pies coins, whose values are in the ratio 13 is to 11 is to 7. The number of 50 pies coins will be so the denominations are 1 rupee 50 pies and 25 pies coins here we are given with the values ratio the values ratio is given as 13 is to 11 is to 7 we are going to convert this value 
bits into coins suppose for if we think that these are in rupees for 13 rupees how many coins of 1 rupee we need 13 coins we need if we have 11 rupees how many 50 pais coins we need for each rupee we need 250 pais coins in the same way 2 into 11 that is 22 x plus for 1 rupee how many 25 25 pais coins we need 4 so we are going to multiply with 4 4 into 7 into x that is 13x plus 22 7s are 28 you will get 35 plus how much 47s are 28 that is 63x 63x is the total number of coins and we are given with 378 coins this 63x is equals to 378 378 x is equals to 63 6 times is 378 if we substitute this in the 13x we will get the number of 1 rupee coins in 22x we will get the number of 50 pi coins if we substitute here we will get the number of 25 pi 25 pi coins what is the question the number of 50 pi 50 pi coins so we will multiply here in 22x 22 into 6 that is 132 so there are 132 50 pi coins in the 378 points.